Jenny with Team Super Awesome Art, and today I have another custom Funko Pop to share with you guys. It is the uh, Brotherhood of Steel Power Armor Pop from Fallout, and it comes on this base with a custom Nuka Cola uh, bottle that lights up. And so I want to show you that, and also in this video, um, I made kind of a Fallout box for my brother's birthday where I put just a whole bunch of Fallout things inside and I want to share that with you guys. Um, it has some stuff I made and it also has uh, an exclusive uh, Fallout pop in there too. So I'm going to show you all of that. First, let's go over this pop right here. So like I said, this was a custom Fallout pop and what we did to this one was pretty much just a repaint. Um, my dad saw this character and it's like, this needs to be redone and customized. So he actually went ahead and he uh, primed it and he did the base color to it and then he sanded it to make it look really um, awesome and weathered. And then I went ahead and did all kind of little details on this character. All right, so I'm gonna spin around so you guys can see all the details in this character. It's really, really, really cool. Um, this one has like a lot of scratch marks so um, it looks like the paint was uh, uh, scratched off, I guess, or um, like just weathered uh, marks to it. And then also to this one, we added like a rusty color to a lot of it, um, just to give it that really weathered look. So you can kind of see it there in the gold copper color on top of all the um, black and uh, silver scratch marks. So he's really cool. We did the black um, lens with this one as well. So there's that. And then he comes on this base with this quantum bottle. And this bottle, I customized the bottle. Um, it has a, let me lift it so you guys can see. It has the quantum sticker on it. There it is. And then I weathered the bottle too. So it looks really, really, really old, like it's been the wastelands for a really long time. And then I also gave it um, a uh, custom bottle cap. There's that, and it's the Nuka-Cola Quantum bottle cap. And I weathered the bottle cap too, so it has that really um, old feel to it. So there's that, and like I said, it lights up on the base. So there it is during the day, and then when you turn off the light, it glows, so it will look really, really cool like on a nightstand. I went ahead and put on this base so they sit together. Right, guys, there it is. This is pretty a pretty cool custom, not only because the customizing was cool, but the pop is really cool. Um, it's just a really cool sculpt to this pop. I didn't have to do anything to it, just the repaint. Um, it just has a whole bunch of detail. When we saw this pop, this was probably by far one of my favorite um, pops that Funko has ever done, only because of all the details and it just looks, it's really proportioned and really cool looking. So I'm really excited for this one. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this box. All right, so the reason I decided to make this box for my brother is because um, his birthday falls around the same time that Fallout um, was released, so I thought it'd be a really cool idea to put all of this together. Okay, so I'm gonna open it and show you guys what's inside and what I did to this box. So pretty much what I did to the outside of the box was I just printed out some stickers, some Fallout stickers, and I put them all the way around. So I did the Vault-Tec stickers there, and then I did the Vault-Tec approved with the Vault Boy on the sides, and then I also did a vault tech sticker on the top there so there it is and then on the side of this box I also did a little sticker a lot of the stuff I just printed offline uh, off the computer um, just because it was easy and it's for my brother so um, I just printed out a whole bunch of little things um, they had the sticker online too and it just has kind of like package details on it so I printed it out and put it in one of these like invoice enclosed little um, mailing slips. But yeah, I thought it was super cute. Um, 
a lot of little details is on the little sticker, so I went ahead and printed that out and stuck that in there. Okay, inside the box, I also did a little um, black ribbon to go around the box to keep everything together. So inside the box, um, I just did, again, a little uh, printout that I printed out in the computer, and there it is. It's a little um, vault, uh, vault Boy kind of propaganda little paper, and I weathered it and painted it so it looks really, really, really old and weathered like it was in the wastelands for a really long time. So I did that one, and then inside, I just did a brown paper on the inside of the box, and then inside, so I'm gonna open it. There is everything. So I put a whole bunch of little things in there. Um, the one thing that I made was, I made a couple things in here. Let me see if I can open it and show you guys what this box looks like once you open it. So it's like that, and then you open it, and there's everything inside. Okay, so the things that I made, I made him a large quantum bottle, and then I also made him a stand that also lights up. So it goes like that, and it stands on there, and it lights up um, just like the small one that I did for the custom. Uh, I had actually made this first, and this was the idea for the custom, to put it with the custom. So same thing with this one, just a larger sticker because it's a larger bottle. Uh, it says uh, quantum on the front, and then I also weathered this one so it looks all old and wasteland um, lived in, I guess. And then I also did, I did a Nuka-Cola um, bottle cap on this one. So there it is. I can get you without the glare. There you go. Okay, so I made that, and then on top of that, I also ma um, made a bunch of bottle caps. There are the bottle caps, and I made a whole bunch of them. Um, I made a Sunset Sarsaparilla one, and I made a couple of the Nuka-Cola plain red ones, and I weathered them all so they look super um, wasteland, uh, like they've just been scattered in the wastelands. So I weathered them really, really well. There's another one, and then I also did a blue one, and then I also did the Nuka-Cola Quantum one. And I put all of these in the box. There those are, they're super fun, super weathered, uh, just like, just like in the game. Okay, next thing I got, I gave him, I made, was this, um, it's a coaster made out of bottle caps and really neat. I just um, printed out a whole bunch of Quantum, um, I, well, actually, these are all a lot of the different flavors of the drinks in the game. So I did Sunset Sarsaparilla and Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola Quantum over here, Nuka-Cola Fusion, and uh, yeah, just a whole bunch of little labels. And then I um, wired them together, and then I felted the back so your table doesn't get wet. So you can put your drinks on there. And then I also made one for Hutch, and he has one on his desk, and his looks like that. So there he is, there, there his is. And then also, um, these are really cool. They both use them. They put um, cold drinks and super hot coffees on them, and they stand up pretty well. So I'm really excited for these and super proud of them because they work. Okay, next thing, the last thing I put in here was a, um, I ordered this one off of GameStop. It is the New York Comic Con exclusive Funko Pop, and it's the unmasked version of the Power Armor. So, um, yeah, so I, I gave him this one too. Uh, he's not a big collector, but he's collecting pops. So it's really cool. I think I've started an addiction for him. He has a whole collection of, of different Fallout uh, pops that I've gotten him and that he's gotten, and then a couple other little ones that aren't Fallout, but for the most part he collects the Fallout ones. And then this is 
the one that comes unmasked power armor um, pop and it's really cool. I like this one too. It was a cool add to the box to, um, to have one that's an official Fallout product and then I did all these little custom stuff so he has. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like all of this stuff. Alright guys, I think that's everything. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this custom. He's really fun to do. I really liked capturing the whole idea of Fallout and really getting the colors of, or the feel of Fallout in this pop with some paint. So really excited for that. I really love how this whole set came out. I'm actually going to add some bottle caps to the base because look how cool it looks. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to do that to this set. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for sticking to the end and watching my little unboxing of the box I made of Fallout stuff. Uh, I always like doing that for friends and family members uh, when they have, I love theming things and putting them together. So I'm really excited that I got to make this box and I got to make these customs for it and print out all those little things. So uh, it's kind of silly, but I love doing it. Um, oh, and the coasters, I really love these. Uh, but yeah, I loved making all of this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions on this, please comment below. I will try and answer all your questions for you. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, subscribe to see more cool stuff from us in the future. Thank you so much, guys, for watching.